I don't know if it's possible, you know, so it's going to be more of a mind game than just like a, a physical thing. And I've been riding flatland for 16 years and I've always been into street riding. I was running out of idea for flat, so now I'm just trying to like mix flat and street. I'm obviously like a really bad street rider, but I'm trying my best and it's so much fun. <laughs> I think street riding gives me a, a lot of bike control that I can use for flat and uh, flat long gives me a lot of balance that I can use for like street riding so it's a good like combination. I think this is way more interesting to come up with your own stuff and like pull something that's never been done before than just like doing someone else's trick. But that's just my point of view. The great thing with BMX Flatland is that we still have so many tricks to like invent or learn. To be able to learn a new trick this day, you need to master all the basic tricks of BMX Flatland. And then you try to link them up in a different way. There are endless possibilities of combination. I try to make my riding as simple and as smooth as possible. I'm not really into like cross-footed, like crooked position. I just try to like make my riding aesthetic. And if you want to win a professional BMX flatland contest this day, you have to come up with your own stuff because it's like judged mainly on originality and difficulty these days. So you have to go out there and like try to like come up with something new. It's way easier in your mind than it is on your bicycle. When you get on your bicycle, it's like, whoa, <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be that hard. BMX Flatland has a lot to do with the muscle memory. You're going to try something for like a bunch of time and then like not doing it. But the next day you try again, it's like, it feels so much easier. That's really like mind blowing how it works. Yeah, I thought it would be cool to film a trick I've uh, never done before and that's really hard for me to pull and uh, it's obviously not going to work first try and then like try to, uh, to progress and learn it and hopefully pull it in the end. So I don't know if it's possible but I have that trick in my head for a long time so this is like the perfect moment to try it and to see if it's possible. That back wheel trick, so it's like a pretty basic trick. And like the trick I want to land into, which is also a pretty basic trick. The real part is, is the jump, is like combinate those two tricks by like doing the jump. It's pretty sketchy because like I'm jumping with my hand behind my back. So like you don't want to land on your handlebar and like... Ugh. I'm gonna put my right foot on the peg. Do a quick peg really here. Switch into that position and get some speed right there. It's called pumping, then I'm gonna set up for the jump. And yeah, I'm supposedly like landing to like 
that position and then I'm gonna have to like pull the trick right there. Progression is definitely what makes me go right every day so if I can help the sport progress by learning the trick then that's what I'm gonna do for like as long as I'm healthy <laughs> for sure. You're gonna crash eventually it's like it's a part of the process. If it wasn't like as hard as, as that, it wouldn't be as rewarding, you know? So, and this is why, why we are all crazy. <laughs> Flatland is like 99% failing and 1% like pulling your trick but once you pull the trick it's just like the greatest feeling in the world like there is no better feeling than that so you're in like constant search of that feeling. Yes oh. Will. I've had a trick in my head for probably like more than a year but never got motivated to try because it's pretty dangerous and uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna ever do the trick again ever. Like this is too hard to like put in a contest anyway. So like just have like to move on, find new ideas and and like put the put that tricks in the in the book. Just like try it boys, try it at home. <laughs>